Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 6th, 2023. Well, yesterday there was talk that the U.S. may block Chinese companies from access to cloud computing, and that brought in a little bit of bearish activity early in the morning. Interestingly enough, it was actually the big tech giants, and only a handful of them, that kind of kept the market in check, um, didn't allow those bears to really run hard. And then we had the Fed um, minutes come out suggesting that, yep, there's likely going to be more rate increases. Um, I don't know why that is a surprise because the Fed members continue to repeat that over and over and over almost daily. But for some reason, the market has this idea that it can out predict the, the Fed and what they're going to do. And the, the wild speculation that all the rate hikes were over um, seems to have now calmed down and we're starting to see a little bit of bearish activity coming into the market as a result of the realization of, yeah, they're likely going to do what they said they were going to do. So <laughs> feeling a little bit of bearish pressure here this morning. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can figure out how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, we continue to struggle with this major resistance level here in the chart, and although we tried to squeak through there again yesterday, by the end of the day, those bears pushed us back just enough that we stayed below this resistance area that's that's capped us here since August of last year. And as you can see, a little bit of a challenge in here uh, this morning with a bit more selling, a bit more of a gap down this morning coming into play. Now, having uh, said that, if I take a, and draw a line up through here, you can see that that is still an upside trend and we have good support areas in the chart. So although we're feeling a little bit of bear, excuse me, bearishness this morning, I'm not sure that um, this really changes anything just yet. So no reason to panic here at all in the chart. This is still a bullish, bullish looking chart. If we take a look at those support areas, as you guys uh, know that um, I was talking about this level of price support right in here yesterday. If the bears were to engage, uh, pushing down into this area somewhere in here seemed like a likely possibility. And now this morning, it looks like there's a pretty good chance that we may test this price support in the chart. Now, if that were to break, then I think our next level down is somewhere right in here. Uh, we would look for these price points right through here, here, and that big candle um, low right there to uh, be the next level down if this area were to, to break. Now that would be a pretty painful move, but even with that painful move, it still doesn't change the upside trend. So um, no reason for any particular panic if that were to occur. If the bulls um, find inspiration today and we were able to bounce off of this area right in here, then I would suggest another retest of this resistance uh, to see whether or not we can pop through it this time. So keep a close eye on that. If we take a look at our SPY, well, our SPY feeling just a little bit of selling pressure here this morning, not too much. We're actually picking up a little bit more tech selling in here so that could be um, impactful here to the spy if that does occur but right now this is a very very bullish chart the one thing we do have questions on is of course that potential double top resistance right there and we're running into that resistance over here in the chart as well so this double top definitely does raise a little bit of uncertainty here in the market and and the fact that we're probably um, big bank earnings don't begin until next Friday, not this coming Friday, but next Friday. So we've got another week to wait for big bank earnings, which means big tech earnings 
aren't going to really kick off for a couple of weeks. So we could really see a little bit of a resting consolidating pattern in here as we wait for that um, earnings, those earnings reports to maybe provide some inspiration here. Now, if the bears were to continue to push, notice we've got this gap right in here. If they were to continue to push here in the SPY, then my guess is if we broke down into that, we could easily fill this gap to the downside. So watch that carefully if the bears keep pushing and they can take out that support level just underneath there. If the bulls find inspiration, then I would look for a retest of that resistance um, right there to see if we can finally pop through. So keep a close eye on those. Um, obviously, very bullish chart. Nothing in here is suggesting bearishness, um, but perhaps we could get a little bit of a rest in here um, waiting on earnings. Take a look at our NASDAQ. QQQ remains a very, very strong chart. We we tried to push up yesterday again. We retested this resistance up here almost a tick and just couldn't push on through. And now we're seeing just a little bit more energy on the bearish side here with, um, well, we've got Hong Kong sold off hard yesterday um, or last night. Um, because of concerns of rate increases. The US is the only one holding up very resiliently here. Um, even European markets are substantially lower. So don't be surprised if those bears feel a little bit more um, uh, uh, willing to show aggressiveness here. Um, again, watch this little area, that gap right there. If we were to break down below that area, then look for a gap fill in the QQQ. If the bulls can continue to push on through, then once again, let's look for an attack up here. And don't be too surprised, once again, with tech earnings, uh, you know, being out there a good two weeks away uh, before that begins, that we just kind of rest and consolidate in here in that chart. Um, let's take a look at our IWM. IWM also showing that same pattern we've running into this resistance once again and we have done this so many times before run into that resistance haven't been able to break through now the bears are pushing here again if they can can continue to push then i would look for a break of this little price support right in here we've played this record before if that breaks right here then uh, we'll look for a retest of support down here if the bulls are able to hold this and find support in this area then i would look for a push back up to once again bang our head against that resistance to see whether or not we can break through let's take a look at our vix our VIX um, saw a little bit of increase in fear yesterday, rallying up with the selling, but not enough to really change anything. As you can see, we're holding in here on this resistance in the chart. There's our resistance all the way across over there. Holding on that resistance in the chart, nothing really bad here showing up. We'll wanna watch that carefully though, if that continues to spike on higher here, that could raise a little bit of concern in the market. If we take a look at our T21, oh, whoops, there we go, T21, 22, our um, four-week new high, new low ratio, as you can see, we did pull back from our overbought condition here in the market. And as a matter of fact, members of Right Way Options, um, some members uh, took some profits because we actually utilized this chart to put on some short trades for the pullback and there were some nice profits taking, taken yesterday uh, from some of the members of RWO and I'm still holding some short positions here on this that are showing benefits today as a result of these overbought conditions. Now, uh, from that situation here, what does this mean? Well, it means that if the bulls can find inspiration, we've opened up an opportunity to bounce and move back higher. If the bears continue to find that inspiration, then we've got a lot of room down here for us to potentially move if um, we can show, if those bears begin to pick up a little bit of aggress aggressiveness here in the market. So watch carefully there. Our uh, T2108 held up really well yesterday. We did pull back just a little bit, but you can see we've got nice little price supports in here. No harm came to the market at all yesterday, despite some of the um, 
worrisome things geopolitically out there between the U.S. and China cropping up. So um, holding up here okay. 65% of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. So bulls are still in control. If we take a look at our T2107, same thing. Bulls are still in control. We ended up holding on to this price support right in here. 51% um, of the stocks above their 200-day moving average. Ah, we're looking pretty good. Bulls still holding on to the market. Our T2101, however, did show us a little bit of a hooking pattern. And what that hooking pattern may be showing us is that there could be a, a bit of a shift in momentum. We may be picking up um, a little bit of a bearish shift here in that momentum. So watch that closely. Um, if that were to roll over. Now, volumes were incredibly light yesterday, so I'm not sure we can read really good information in this. Um, and that was not a, unexpected with a lot of traders probably taking um, yesterday off as well just to get back home. Um, it, it might even be a possibility that they extended vacations throughout this entire week. So we could still experience light volumes here for the rest of the week. Now today on the earnings calendar, we have a bit more going on with a lot of activity in here this morning. We're going to probably hear from OPEC here a little bit later on their um, uh, production uh, guidelines here. So keep an eye on that. If they were to provide more cuts, um, <sighs> Wow, that could really push um, oil prices higher. So watch that carefully. Now, uh, mortgage applications came in and they came in um, showing a pretty steep decline in applications. Um, not a big surprise because rates continue to rise. Our bond prices continuing to move higher here today. Now pricing in about an 85% chance of a rate increase on the next uh, Fed meeting. Now. Um, we've got ADP numbers. We're going to have international trade in goods. We've got jobless claims. We've got PMI composite. We've got a Fed speaker in here. ISM services, job openings report, and a natural gas report today, followed by some bond auctions and the Fed balance sheet. So a lot of data coming out here this morning that could potentially be market moving. Let's keep an eye on this. Remember, we're kind of sensitive right now on that jobs front just simply because it, it is holding up much more resilient, resilient, I can't say the word, resiliently than uh, the Fed would like to see. The Fed would like to see uh, a, a diminishment of uh, jobs uh, start to see those claims rising and a little bit of a cooling in that sector. But so far, they have n all of the work that they've done have, has not really provided uh, much of that cooling effect in those areas. So watch those closely. If we start, if we see any of these numbers creeping higher, uh, missing some projections of a little bit of um, increase in joblessness, then that could also inspire those bears. So it's one of those things where bad news tends to be good news for the market. Then as you look forward into Friday, just keep in mind, um, we it's not an uncommon thing to see the market kind of hesitate and pause a lot of choppiness uh, as we move toward that employment situation number on Friday. So keep that in mind. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today and our earnings calendar also very very light um, once again not a big surprise about the only true notable here for today is Levi Strauss Levi will be reporting at the uh, after the bell today so uh, keep an eye on that not much happening here on the earnings front as we wait let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me this quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon. When it pops up, so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. Helps the channel to continue to grow. Just a huge shout out and thank you to everyone who does support the channel that way, who's been supporting the channel through the buy me a coffee link. I do truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. 
let's take a peek at some of these charts that may be setting up and keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact i think you need to do your own due diligence you need to be following your personal um, risk tolerances for for your trading follow your trading plan do not ever fo blindly follow someone else's trade ideas first off i want to mention um, plug power um, plug interesting chart here where we've rallied up strongly pulled back way too hard and now we're coming right back up in a little bit of a v pattern here but one of the things i like about this chart is if you take a look we're holding on to our 50-day moving average in that pattern so what i would um, be watching for in this chart is maybe just a little bit of a resting consolidation in here and then look for that next opportunity to the upside here plug power is the a company that does does uh, work in hydrogen power and there's been a lot of articles coming up about hydrogen maybe picking up in some areas of the market as an alternative energy while we're still trying to build out a network of, of uh, charging stations for um, electric vehicles so watch that carefully here um, in plug power could be interesting coming up take a look at um, CF um, I mentioned CF yesterday that continues to set up I like this potential pattern now one of the reasons that this may be struggling here getting going is I think the dollar um, the dollar um, showed strength yesterday pushing on up after opening so we continue to see those bond yields going higher. That's having a, po um, a positive impact on the US dollar, making it stronger. That has a negative impact on a lot of commodities. So keep a close eye on that. If that dollar starts to weaken, then CF may start to take off to the upside. I would keep a close eye on that, um, on these ag inputs. Um, so watch that closely. Now what's interesting is if you look at um, other ag inputs, Archer Daniels kind of coming up here pretty strongly, farm products. Um, breaking through some resistance here in the chart so here once again a little rest or pullback may set up an opportunity um, in those charts now one thing that was interesting yesterday is that we saw a pretty substantial move in the utility sector utilities moved up strongly yesterday and you can see we've got a little bit of a w formation starting to form up here now clearly the downtrend is still going to be problematic but you could see if we could break through this resistance up here and hold the higher low then utilities might be back on uh, back on track here for some upside moves uh, take a look at southern company southern company trying to do that same thing a little w pattern trying to break up through some resistance so there's a few of those stocks out there starting to show um, a little bit of bullishness you can see nee uh, trying to break um, back up through that downtrend let's watch some of these utilities if that can occur take a look at um, UNG now this one I have a bias in because I am holding UNG but UNG had a pretty rough day yesterday pulling back substantially kind of keep an eye on this if we can continue to hold this upside trend and this may be very dependent on the US dollar as well but if this can hold in here I would watch for that opportunity then that this pops on through holding on to that trend could still have several days in here of resting and consolidation if the dollar weakens though look for um, UNG to maybe take off in other energy sector stocks take a look at um, Occidental Occidental has now broken the downtrend here and this is a Warren Buffett favorite right now he's been buying this up like crazy that doesn't mean that it's a buy for you or me but what I look for is the price pattern in the chart and I'm starting to get there as you can see breaking that downtrend rallying up holding a higher low in here if we can um, rest or consolidate out here a bit I'd be looking for that next opportunity to the upside in some of these stocks like Occidental now taking a look in other places Valero energy is also starting to show those patterns breaking through this um, a very challenging bottom that it's been going through <coughs> excuse me so on that refining area here in the market watch that carefully 
if this were to rest or pull back, hold that area in the chart, then there may be um, a next upside opportunity in Valero. And I was looking around the market last night and Halliburton is in the same, the same situation, breaking through some downtrends, kind of working through a protracted bottom formation but if it can hold this high or low in here maybe something to be paying attention to and then of course there's also the stocks um, in that oil uh, lots of stocks in that oil st sector starting to show the same kind of thing u.s steel had a bad day yesterday pulling back again with the strengthening dollar um, that has a negative impact on steel now this is another one that i hold and i'm still profitable in it with a covered position on this but you can see we might be running into some problems breaking this trend if that trend were the break well it may be a situation where i got to close that trade off but if we hold in here let's watch that if that dollar were, were to happen to weaken then we might pop back up here in u.s steel keep an eye on some of those steel stocks like um, steel dynamics showing a little bit of bullishness there but as you can see yesterday was a pretty rough day for them so maybe we're falling out of favor so with that guys hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great results in your trading thank you so much for listening for being here i do truly appreciate it you guys take care and i want to wish you all of the best today